So, are we happier now? Did you just come from part three? Are you expecting things to now get easier? Just because of what you saw last, or what you heard? It's not my desire to disappoint you, but I'm afraid I'll have to tell you that things are only going to get much worse. Yes, we saw the sun more often, and yes, we were protected on my island, but how shall I even put it? Maybe it wouldn't be enough to tell you. I'm just going to have to show you, and you shall learn of our nearing despair and terrible fortune, which will encompass and dash our secure world to pieces, here in my undead city. Look at these guys. Yeah, still here. They don't go away. Just around and around and around doing the same thing day after day. Such a boring life. Or undeath, I guess. Yeah, you guessed it. And you already know because you saw it thrice upon three parts before now. They want us. It's so weird. Couldn't they just settle for a roast chicken or barbecue TV dinner? Nah, they want to eat us. Let's not even go into how selfish they are, or does it even matter. There's no thought process on their part. I've seen them, day after day. They're always the same. It's like they're walking vegetables, even dumber than the lowest form of animal life. And yet, look at the trouble they give us. It's just so annoying, and I'd rather not speak any more of it, or I'll really get upset. Ah, just never mind. You just want to know what's happening now. Well, come on over and see. So, it's true. The garden has been doing much better ever since we started seeing the sun more. I'm quite surprised it even grew at all in this darkness. Anyway, I've been doing the best I can to cultivate it, and harvest. But I have another growing concern. What concern is that? We've been snacking on some of the food reserve we already found here. I think it will eventually run out. How soon would it run out? Maybe in a year? 
A year? Is that all? I think I understand the point. If things are bad, and we live here for a long portion of our lives, one year is nowhere near enough. We're going to have to get more food. Which, of course, is supplemented by me growing our own garden here. But even that can have me worried. I'm wondering, if something happened to it, how would we get along? It seems to me that we just can't have all of our eggs in one basket. What we need is to diversify. Ha! Huh, you sound now like a businessman. Only maybe. Is that business to you? Remember? I worked at a consulting firm. Business consultations were our business, of course. I was basically on the bottom of the totem pole. I feel like generally I was just data entry and doing reports. But I still did help in the consultations. I had a degree in business. Masters? No, just bachelors. But I wanted to go for a masters. Hey, maybe I should now. Should be dirt cheap. Oh, <laughs> right. And you wouldn't even find anyone to pay tuition either. You guys are funny. A little humor never hurt anyone. Yeah, well, back to business, er, zombie apocalypse business, that is. I agree with diversification of our food supply. How would you do that? There's three parts to this, I think. Rating, external food gathering, and resupplying sources, such as more seeds and stuff. That all makes sense to me. So, rating. That would mean rating stores for just more food. Maybe even long-term food, such as canned, or even rice or beans. Yes, that's right. And then resupplying sources. You want to find more seeds? Well, if we raid stores looking for seeds in those little baguettes, I've heard they can last a long time in those pouches. Might be handy to have if a crop fails. But that's more long term. We couldn't grow it right away. What I really wish is we had a fruit tree or something. Yeah, that's really long term. Good luck with that. Yeah, it's quite a project. I don't know how we would do that. Now, your second point you made. You said external food gathering? What do you mean? It's actually your area of expertise, Jacob. Hunting or fishing. Oh, I see. That makes good sense to me. Except... I already know. You're going to bring up the disappearance of the animals. I myself have wondered that too. It's actually an area of big discussion. I guess it was only time before we discussed it in greater detail. Not again. It's going to rain soon. Let's get inside. Hey, these are different couches. What happened? Something was wrong with the wool. It started to decay, so I had to replace them all. Huh. Oh, okay. It felt so nice having it so sunny for a while. It's kind of hard to see it go. Just another inevitability. Well... Returning to the hunting, I will say I haven't seen it take all. That is, one thing for sure is fishing. I've done it before and it works. I went fishing and caught some, cooked them and ate them. They were no problem. Even the fish seemed unharmed. I'm wondering if aquatic life is unaffected by this disease. It's not something I've paid attention to. I wonder if we should spend more time fishing. We could study them more. But even though it has been safe so far, let's not get too comfortable. I'd hate for something bad or drastic to happen there because we don't pay attention. I really think we have nothing to worry about, but you're right. Let's not let our guard down. We'll pay close attention. Yes, and now I think I'm becoming more curious about land animals. What happened to them? I don't know. It makes sense if I had seen a few of them turn into the undead, but maybe they just all got eaten up. But even that is strange. I mean, I don't even see birds. And I don't think I saw any animals in the city. It doesn't mean there weren't. I had my best chance to know when I was wandering around the city from the undead before I found this island. I wonder... Maybe I saw a pig or something first? But I, I can't remember. I was too scared to pay close attention. But as far as my good memory serves me, I don't remember any animals. Except for the one. You mean the cow? Yes. For wondering about the animals turning, well, animals is actually where it all started. The cow was the first. That writing's from the scientist. Yes, I remember you mentioning him. Sir Lanto or something or other. Yes, that was his name. He spoke of it, and one thing I didn't mention was that they found the base of their serum in bear heads. Bear heads? Sounds morbid. And who'd even think to use that? Who found that out? I don't know. But when I think of it more, it changes my thoughts on the scientist. I seem so grateful to him because he wrote things down. But now I'm wondering of the true nature of his character, or other scientist. 
What kind of people would experiment in that way? When you get too deep into science, sometimes you make your end goal more important than anything else, and you try weird and diverse things. Yeah, but it's weird. Nothing against science, but some people get too weird. And we're all weird in our own way. But not morbid like that. Never mind. This is getting off track, I think. The idea is about how this affects animals. Yes, aquatic life seems unharmed, but have others been turned or something? For the most part, only the undead have been human walkers. But what about that crazy undead monster I saw on the cruise ship? It didn't look human at all. Yes, describe that monster again. It never did say much more. It was green, with red eyes, and long white teeth filling its mouth, almost spewing out. Its legs were large, thick and long, but its arms were tiny. Like, like a T-Rex dinosaur. But its head, it had horns, long and black. Yeah, that doesn't sound human at all. At least we know that human walkers do mutate, like the one Russia we killed when we first met. But I don't know if they could mutate that far. Indeed, maybe it was an animal. I wonder what animal could look like that. It seems so scary. What really concerns me is the behavior, or the continuity of the infection. I keep wondering, what if a flock of birds got infected? How could we escape that if we saw it? What would we do? I see your point. Maybe you won't ever see birds, but if they attacked us here on the island... Yes, that's the point. Our houses wouldn't secure us from them. We'd be toast. We need a sealed underground shelter. I was thinking I could try making one here or close to the water. Better not the water. It would be bad if some leaked in from a storm or something. Okay, close to the house then. There's plenty of stone and pavement around, and I have a pickaxe. I could collect some of them and build a small shelter. It should be enough to save us if something like that happens. Good idea. Definitely something worth working on. Hey, Darren, where's the green potato you once found? Green potato? Oh, I put it in my chest in my room. Oh, okay. I just wanted to examine it. Haven't seen it lately. Oh my gosh. Darren, something has happened. What? What is it? You know that green potato? Well, it's turned to mush in the chest and it got on stuff. It's ruined everything in there. Oh, no. I can't even remember what I put in there. I saw. We've lost a red sword you once found. The silver-colored sword. And also my old Remington shotgun. And that old 1873 revolver I found. Darn. Lost that antique. It's so sad. Oh, gosh. That's terrible. But I saw one thing that wasn't lost. Your gold sword in there is still good. In fact, it looks untouched, almost like brand new. Really? That's the sword that had the ability to instantly kill the undead. It must be unaffected. But that's what also worries me. If that's true, then that could mean the potato was green because the infection somehow got to it. An infection? An infection affecting vegetable-based life and plants? I don't believe it. But it could also mean it just kills infections quick, or even things like mold. Yeah. That could be true. Gosh, I hope it's true. I hope our food doesn't become infected. We'd surely be in trouble. Hey, question. I didn't see your bow in your chest. Oh, I must have put that in some other chest. Whew, thank goodness. At least we still have a ranged weapon. Then it still has ammo? Arrows? Yeah, just about out. I have to admit, we're going to need more arrows. Maybe some hunter department store might have some. For the most part, I just picked them back up when I could, but often there's not enough time for that. It's not super efficient. We need more ranged weapons. And now we only have one other weapon, which is your gold sword. That's not enough to defend ourselves. Okay, it's looking like another raid is becoming more imminent. Darn, oh well. We still have some clothes somewhere here. We'll have to do our clothes scent drop trick to make it easier. Yeah, imagine that. Faking the undead to chase after old garments because it still has our scent so that we could complete a raid. Yep. Well, I'm going to go work on our bunker here.
Oh, yeah, bunker. That's about right. Okay, see you later. Hi, Samantha. What are you doing? I'm making a cloth craft. Haven't decided what it will be yet. Oh, cool. You knit? Something like that. I'm not too good, but it's easy to get bored here. Huh, yeah. Wish you had TV. Though, if it worked, on the outside, it'd be nothing but bad news. But then at least we'd have some news from the outside. I still don't get what's going on out there. It's the whole world. And what about the islands of the seas? I fear they may have been affected just like us. It all happened in that dark cloud, I think. It was what transferred the infection in the first place. Probably went everywhere in the world, spreading the infection to the more susceptible people. Though, there may have been many survivors out there. I hope so. I hope a lot of people survived. Yeah. Well, I only came to make sure you were doing well. I'll see you later. Hey, I've been thinking. We still have two weapons. Why don't you and I both go on a raid? What? And leave Samantha? She's safe here. What could possibly happen to her? Yeah, I guess you're right. I just think she's afraid of being alone. Gosh, it's too bad we don't have more people with us to counter that. But there's no choice. Well, what do you think? I suppose you're right. Well, I don't know. Let's both of us go. I'll take the sword. You're better with ranged weapons, so you use the bow. Good. I'll go get a few more things and then I'll be ready. You both be careful, and hurry back. Let's not talk much. Whisper, no more sounds than we need. Jacob, there's a medicine cabinet in here. All kinds of first aid and stuff. That's good. Take it. More stores? Nah, too dangerous. Let's go back home. You made it. I was afraid you wouldn't make it back before dark. Oh, come on. You don't have to worry that much about us. We're getting good. We've got skills now, you know. Yeah, end of the world survival skills. I should have taught that in school. You both are funny. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night.
Jacob, what was your life like before all of this? You've said some things, but I don't know much. I guess there's a lot to say. But yeah, I haven't said much. No reason why not. Just haven't. Well, what were you doing? Well, I actually was a hunter. I mean, I used to have some limited city life, but I got sick of it. So, I saved my money, bought a cabin in the woods, then hunted as a profession. Of course, there isn't much money in it. But I actually started a hunting blog, and that's where most of my money came in. Oh, nice! Blogs are cool! Yeah, but it got annoying sometimes. I had to use satellite internet. It was spotty, but it did the job. And what else? Well, I can at least tell you what happened that led up to that point, and until now. Hey Mac, you get back from town? Yup, nope. got what you needed. Come by when you can. Sure thing. I'll pay you for the stuff online. Hello? You have to come quick! Help! I'm stuck inside! I- Mac? Mac? You in there? Oh, Mac, I'm so sorry. But why did you attack me?
must find out what's happening. Nothing. Something bad is happening. And I don't know what else. Just in case, I'd better get my stuff together. Cabin is gone. Nothing to do now but to leave and go somewhere else. And that's it. It was the apocalypse then, and I survived in the wild for a time, and through the city on small raids, as it were. Eventually I came to this city looking for supplies and to find answers. Killed some zombies on the way, and then that's when I met you. Ah, so that's how it happened. Now I know. Well, thanks for telling me. I've already told you about me. It's not too interesting. I sure am glad that you're a part of our group, though. Your skills are priceless. I wish I had the same skill set as yours. Oh, I don't know. Business firm skills aren't bad. You've obviously learned good organization and leadership skills. You've led us this whole way. And you've done other amazing things like find this island, find a cure for Samantha, or, you know, the penicillin that somehow helped her heal, whatever, and more. I don't think any of us would be alive without you. Wow, thanks, Jacob. That means a lot coming from you. Yep. <sighs> well, I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. What is it? I don't know, but I think I see something off in the distance. I've got this terrible feeling. It's like a warning. Warning? Oh my gosh! It's a flock of something coming for us! Run! 
Samantha, come to the bunker now! What are those things? Just what I had feared. Those are undead birds. Actually, they look like parrots. It beats me how they could be here. Or maybe they came from a pet store. But I was right. Animals can get infected too. Maybe that's why we haven't seen any animals. Maybe many have died to the infection, but a few remained in an undead state. Either way, they can turn too. And that's so much worse. They can swarm and attack us. Imagine them pecking at us and tearing us apart. They could eat us fast. That's terrible. Well, and now we're stuck here. I'm so glad I put a few supplies in here right after I finished the main structure. Too bad it wasn't all done. It doesn't look very nice. It's okay. It's fulfilling its purpose. I'm so glad you made it. Yet again, we'd be dead if it weren't for you. I'd do what I can. They're gone. Where'd they go? No idea, but they are not here. Let's be cautious. Let's look around first, then return back to the bunker and discuss. Found anything. Nor I. It seems they really are gone. Hey, I have an idea. The only real reason we couldn't stay in the houses if the birds came back is because of the glass windows. Let's just board them up or cover them up with clay or cement materials. It would make them safer. That's a great idea, Jacob. Let's do it. You and I will board up each house. Samantha, you go atop our house and be a lookout for those birds. We don't want any surprise attacks while we're working.
A zombie. A zombie on our island. What? How did that thing get here? I don't know. There's still no way to access our island. But how could it be it? Baron, you said that the undead couldn't swim. But remember I saw some in the water the first time we came to the island. Maybe they're mutating enough to swim. But how can it be? Darren, I think it's unlikely as it seems that Samantha may be right. How else could it have gotten here? They must be mutating. They may soon be able to swim. That's bad. That's very bad. The only reason we were safe is because we had the water to separate us and they couldn't swim. What do we do now? If they can swim, then maybe it's time to affect a wall around our island. I mean, more than it is. If it's too high, then they couldn't climb it. I suppose you're right. Let's do it, and the sooner the better. You and I will work on it. We'll do the side closer to the mainland first, then work our way around. We may even need to wall up our boat access. However, if we had a drop-down ladder, we could still get it down and up easy. That would keep us still protected in here. Good idea. Let's do it. I'm going to the lookout now. I'll let you know what I see. She has good eyes. Yeah, it seems she's essential too. All three of us have been key. Can't believe how lucky we've been. Sometimes, I wonder if it really is luck. This should be much safer. Yeah, I don't think anything can get in here now. It's good. Though, we've used up most of our resources and building materials. Sounds like another raid. I'm afraid so. Let's both go and try to get good things. We need more clothing for bait and stuff. Clothing stand. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of clothing in here. This is great.
How did it go? Good. We got more clothes to use as bait, but maybe even if our clothes need replacing. That's all we had time for. More undead walkers came when we had to leave. Sometimes I really worry about you. I keep worrying that at some time we won't be so lucky. All a part of the risk factor. There's always risk, but the reward in our case is worth it. It'll aid in our survival. Yeah, and prepare for a greater future. Hey, look at what I found. It looks like an audio tape, and I found a tape recorder to go with it. Really? Is it just music? Audio tapes are old tech, you know. I know, but let's listen to it. We had no more power and no alternative but to record on this old audio. We hope it will survive so that any chance of survivors after us will know our story and what we've learned. We were the simple outpost, and the bridge was important to this place. We trucked many things back and forth, including supplies. Though we heard rumors of something afoot, so we foolishly started moving supplies out to a safer storage somewhere. There was an old oil refinery in the water, and that is where it has gone along with some of our personnel, The most have stayed behind. We continue our coastal watch, as we are the Coast Guard, but soon we were trapped, and our own machinery was nearly gone. Some have escaped in them, but they were lost. There are a few of us still here, but the undead are coming to the island, and are about to break through our barrier. We have killed many, and managed to drive them back out, but we fear they will come back in again through the barrier. We are not taking the chance here, and have decided to bear the open water and swim hoping for some chance of survival that would be better than our open water. And Tylus, our head technician, has taken the gold sword that he found at the research building when he went to help them when something went wrong. Hopefully it will not be lost, and its properties will eventually be understood. They... Soon they... That's the end of the tape. Maybe they were overrun by that time. Imagine that. Imagine that! So they were the ones that found the gold sword, and it came from the research facility. The same one where this infection all started with the mutating cow milk. They must have used it for something. But how did it all work? I'm still confused. But at least it gives us more answers. It looks like the gold sword is of more value than we realized. I'm formulating a hypothesis right now. I think that they tried to come up with an antidote and something to combat the virus. Maybe they finally came up with it. But why a gold sword? Maybe they didn't have a choice. Obviously the antidote, or cure, whatever, didn't get out in time. Maybe they ran out of time. Maybe they had that gold sword nearby and they used it right then and there because that's all they could think of. That might be why it seems to kill the undead right away. But really, remove the infection. But how do we even harvest its properties? That I do not know. That's why we need a scientist or someone who would understand that. Us alone, I think we cannot do anything. And if we did, or tried, we'd risk losing it altogether, and that'd be disastrous. Yeah, well, good thing we have it. It seems it really is up to us to find the cure to the infection, and it seems to all reside in the gold sword. But it was so strange how we found it, on the platform. Yeah, something must have happened, and they had to leave it behind. But there was no note, and what could have made them to leave it behind? Swimming zombies? Or, what I saw on that cruise ship. Maybe the cruise ship had floated by before and they were attacked. Or, maybe it had nothing to do with the undead. It could have even been a storm, and they fastened the sword to the platform as best they could, and they had to leave, or were taken away in the storm. That's a sad thought, I know, 
but it's a possibility. Right. Well, we still haven't touched on the other important subject. Oh? The oil refinery that they spoke of. They said they took all their supplies to the oil refinery. It must be out there somewhere. What if we found it? There might even be survivors there. Even a scientist. Hey, yeah. It might prove to have all we need. And it'd be so good to find more people. I think we need to go out and look for it. Okay. But we could get lost in the process. I've done it a few times myself. It's not so fun. Maybe I'll go alone. I was a hunter, remember? I might not get lost as easy as you. Yeah, but it still worries me. Well, but I think you're right. Okay. But there is one other thing we could do. Uh huh? Our boat is actually safer. If we had more fuel, we could take it instead. Oh yeah, the motorboat. And I might be able to find fuel in the city. I think we need one more raid. Just for fuel. Yeah. Why don't you go for that instead? And that's something you'd be good at. Then when you come back, let's all three go together so we don't accidentally get separated. And then we will go for the oil refinery. Good. Then I'm going on another raid. I sure hope he finds it. I'm starting to get a little more afraid on this island. He'll be back. He's really good at what he does. Ah, fuel. <laughs> oh, oh no, I used the last arrow. Last of our ranged attacks. Darren won't like this. Oh, another island?
Oh, hey, this island. It looks like the one Darren was once at, that he told me about once. But where is the statue? Just remains, and it's all gone. I wonder how. Wow, looks like someone has been here since Darren came. If that's true, then that means there really are more survivors. My goodness, three shotguns and so much ammo. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can even carry it all. This is amazing, so good. But I don't want to steal, so maybe. Oh no. Well, maybe I won't be stealing. It looks like you were all infected and turned to zombies. Or, the zombies got here in some other way. This is strange. Samantha. I found some amazing things. I found three shotguns and ammo. So much ammo. Good thing too, because in the city I got attacked and used the last of the arrows. We needed this stuff so bad. Where'd you get it? I think I found the island where you found Samantha, but the statue was destroyed, and then the cave was a container that I think wasn't there before. Anyway, it was inside, but after I retrieved them, I was attacked again. I think the owners were infected in turn. So, I hope I didn't steal them. More infected? But, how did they get there? A boat? Or, maybe they swam? I don't know. It worries me even more now. We haven't actually seen a zombie swim though. We still don't know for sure if they can or what really happened. Gosh. Well, I got fuel. Plenty for the boat, and we can use it now. Good. Just in time for... What was that? That does it! Now we know. They can swim, and they have a big rusher zombie with them. He's breaking through. They're so fast now! They're really mutating! This is no time for conversation! Take a shotgun! Fight!
Punch you! You can't beat that! Run to the boat! All that time, it feels like losing a home, and I thought we'd always be safe there, but now it's gone. And now we have no choice, we haven't got supplies on this boat, and we even left the gold sword. No we didn't. Here, I grabbed it before you came back from the rain. I just wanted to look at it a while, but then I was going to put it back. Praises be! What luck! Samantha, you saved the gold sword! Why, if you hadn't gone to look at it, it'd be lost on the island. That's amazing! I can't believe how lucky we've still been, even with so much bad happening. Yeah, like I said, I wonder if it's really luck. It almost sounds like divine intervention. Yeah, if you believe in that stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe it is. Hey, wait, I see something. It's the oil refinery. We found it. Who goes there? Just some survivors. We heard about this place from the Coastal Guard Island, but it was overrun, so we've come here. Wait here. You may proceed. Come with me. I see you have come. You are survivors. Yes, we are here. We've made it. 
And what is that there with your woman person? It's the gold sword that you left behind at the platform. You found it! You found it! We thought it was lost! We think it represents the cure. Can you use it? We don't know how to yet, but you're right. We believe it has something to do with the cure. You have come to us as a voice of hope. Well done, you three travelers. You may have been instrumental in the revival of all humanity. So we did it. We made it to the oil refinery. Sure, we lost our island, but we gained something so much more. There are more people here, and they are wonderful. They have taken us in like poor strangers from the street. And now we have hope. Hope for more than just survival, but hope that indeed a cure may actually be made that could save all humanity. We have much to learn, and many more friendships to forge, and we continue to invite all who need a refuge all who need a safe haven, and all who are trying to find sanctuary from this terrible apocalypse. I wish that everyone could hear me, but all the same I invite you all. If you are lost, lonely, or afraid, don't give up. A cure is on its way, and maybe someday soon it will finally rid the undead infection from my undead city. <laughs> <laughs>